Hey, what's up, and welcome to live.besttechie.net, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions, and of course, everything technology related. Um, have you ever taken a screenshot, you know, a picture of your desktop or an application or uh, just a particular sector of your desktop or a particular part of an application? Have you ever done that? Uh, sure, there's there's applications to do it uh, on Windows. You can do hit the the print screen button. That'll take a full a full desktop shot. You can also download other applications to take them and then upload them yourself manually to a a web server or something like that. Uh, but not until really recently, uh, my friend of mine online, his name is Mike, and he created an application called Screen Grab, and and he has an app his version of the application runs on OS 10 Snow Leopard um, so you have to have Snow Leopard by the way but there's also a Windows and Linux version of of screen grab available and you can get that at I believe the URLs uh, launchpad.net slash screen grab and the one for OS 10 Snow Leopard can be found at apps apps dot info anyway so I'm going to show off this application. Basically, what this application, what these applications do, they they essentially are they're not the same. They're not created by the same people, but I I know everyone I know both people who make them, and they're very good. They work on and that's how I'm covering all the platforms here. But essentially, what the application does is it takes a, it takes a screenshot of whatever you select. You use a command like on my Mac on my keyboard. I hit Command Shift and then four the the, the number four and it'll bring up a a, a, an area that I can select part of the screen or do a full screenshot or if I hit the spacebar button it'll allow me to select a specific window and I just have to it'll it'll have a little camera icon pop up and it'll and it'll allow me to pick a certain window uh, and it'll just shoot uh, screenshot that window then what it does is is the coolest part this is where the magic happens this is the best part of the app because oftentimes You'll take a screenshot and then you'll just like you'll let it sit on your desktop. You're like, I wanted to use this for something. I wanted to show someone something, and now I have to upload it and then I have to copy the URL and blah blah blah. blah. No more. With Screen Grab on 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 the Mac, and also for Windows and Linux, um, you, it'll basically once you take the screenshot, you and you configure you can configure FTP settings so you can have it automatically upload the file. Uh, your, your screenshot to a web server and that one step better it then copies the URL of where it uploads it to and puts it on your clipboard so you can easily paste it um, to, the, to the person you want to share it with and even better screen grab for uh, for Mac uh, it's not built into the um, to to the Windows one yet but it has URL shortening capabilities meaning it'll automatically shorten the URL shrink it if uh, you have that setting enabled and it uses my URL shortener bt.gd is the domain and it's, it's very short so you get a nice short URL every time when you want to share something so check out bt.gd we just launched that today it's available to the public you can use it to shorten any URL you want uh, and get a super short URL so check it out anyway I'm gonna show you guys this application how it works in uh, in real time right here so let me switch over to my desktop so you guys can see this it's really really cool. I'm running the one the screen grab for OS 10 on Snow Leopard by the way. So here's my desktop as you can see. All right, so if I scroll up you'll see right here this is this it's not the best icon but it works. And this is the screen grab icon in the menu bar. So you'll see you have services and if I go over here you can configure screen grab. Now this is what I was talking about in terms of the the FTP settings. Uh, you can have it start on login. You can have it show in the menu bar. I recommend you do these. That way it's always running. You can have it chirp on successful upload. And then you can even have it, which I do this, because if you take a lot and it'll delete the local copy after it uploads the image so you don't have to save it on your computer if you don't want to. You can have it open in a web browser once it's um, after it's uploaded to the correct URL. You can have you can use growl notifications. So once it's uploaded, it'll, it'll send out a growl notification on your Mac. Thread safe mode is if you're having a problem, I've had this problem in the past, and, and it and it might loop or something, we're working on this bug, but you, if you run in thread safe mode, 
you don't you cannot upload multiple files at once but I typically don't do that anyway most people don't um, so if you run that in that you'll you won't have any issues with looping which we're, uh, the developer is working on resolving that but don't worry about that just keep tick that if you want um, to make sure it's running uh, very stable and then of course as I mentioned you can use URL shortening services um, so bt.gd which is the current one that we use um, so here in the host name I have it set up to bt.gd and here's the directory it uploads to and here's my username and password yes that's my password you can't really see it but uh, that's it uh, and then here's and then you here you put the URL you want the you want the clipboard um, to have and then it will automatically add the additional um, the additional part for the file like I use the file format uh, this international compact timestamp you can also use epoch uh, Unix timestamps or just a hashtag of, a, of the current time. Once you do that, you start up screen grab. I'm currently running it. So as I mentioned, you can easily take a screenshot. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot of, of the screen grab window. I'm going to hit down Control Shift 4. Now as you see it right here, it has these numbers. This is where I am on the screen and I could either select a particular spot like this. It will upload the file See, it's uploaded. Now it's copied to my clipboard. Now if I go to the IRC chat room, I can paste it. And there is the screenshot I just took. That's the URL. And I'm going to pull it over here. And you can see I just uploaded it. And here's the URL I had set up and with the timestamp um, right there. So now here's one better. Now let's say you want to take a, a specific window. And you wanted to get that entire window. So let's say I want to get the entire system preferences uh, window in my screenshot and I don't want to have to mess up and um, by accident you know just get a certain part or just half of it if I let go too soon. So all you have to do then on the Mac is hit down con command shift 4 and then you can hit the space bar and see how it has that little uh, camera that, that means you have selected this window and you can go back and forth to different applications here. I don't do the system preferences I click down the mouse it uploads the file it's very very quick of course that depends on your upload connection but your upload speed but then as you can see a brand new URL bt.gd slash f and it has uploaded the entire um, system preferences window that I took a screenshot of very very nice I love this application it is very useful and honestly especially if you do a lot of uh, screen grabs for like various things like if you have a blog and you want to take a screenshot of something this makes it super simple and you know while it like while it, I'm going to switch back one second while it may not be like the most purposeful program it's very addicting I swear to god like I, I, I started off taking screenshots like once you know once a week maybe and now actually I'm going to switch back I wanted to show you something actually uh, actually I don't have to switch back I'll just tell you. So I started taking them once a week. So far this month, I've taken 143 grabs since like uh, I don't know. I think I started on like the fifth or the or something like that, and that is an average of like 13 grabs a day. That's crazy. I mean, like I'm taking a bunch of screenshots all the time because it's so much fun. Because I like to share them with my friends to see so I can show them what I'm looking at and things like that. And it's much, it's much more fun than just sharing your URL. Show them a screen grab. Check out Screen Grab. Of course, this app is found at apps.mikebuntu.info. And of course, you can check out launchpad.net uh, slash screen grab for the Windows and Linux version. I don't believe the Linux version is out yet, but it will be out. The Windows version is out, and they're working on a, uh, a new version, which will have dual monitor support as well. So check it out. Let me know. Share your screenshots with me. Check out bt.gd, by the way. Use it as your primary URL shortener. I guarantee you'll like it. Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been live.besttechitout. Until next time, we'll see you. And remember, remember, take care of your computers. And take a lot of screen grabs.